Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today's adventure is a very special one. It's the 2011 Casper Kids here at Strawberry Reservoir. We're having a great time. This is one of those events where the kids get to come out and try their hand at fishing. Lots of volunteers sit back, relax, enjoy the smiles, and watch these kids have the time of their life. Like this one we found on the street. Gave her a hat, and she just came along with us. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning Firearms and Outdoor Gear, the best there is. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Base. Okay, come on buddy. Excellent. Awesome. Cheese. Are we going fishing? Cheese. 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 Tell him what we're doing. Say, we're going fishing. Go fishing. Say, I'm hooked on Utah. Utah. Sweet. All right. All right, Gab, you ready? In, in. All right, come on, jump in, in, in here. In. <laughs> Let's get a jacket on you first. All of the items shown on this week's checklist can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse and online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. You know, if you want to come up and fish like we are today with these kids from Cast for Kids, pick out just a great entry-level push-button reel just like this. Sportsman's Warehouse has a wide selection and variety. These work excellent for entry-level for children. You want to see a smile on your kid's face, get them a tackle box. They love nothing more than opening it up, putting all kinds of goodies in there and playing with their equipment when they're out fishing. One of these take me fishing right here at Sportsman's Warehouse, make a kid smile. Hey, make sure you get some worm hooks and some treble hooks for cheese and for the worms that you'll be using. Sportsman's Warehouse has a wide selection of power bait. Absolutely essential if you're going to fish up on Strawberry or Soldier Creek for trout. Make sure you have a bunch of this in your kid's tackle box. Make sure you include a hook remover. All of these smaller products that Sportsman's Warehouse offers, they're things you can put in their tackle box that they can play with when they're fishing. If it's fast or if it's slow, it makes them feel like they got a bunch of goodies in their box. Hey, make sure you get a selection of these scented marshmallows, but very, very important. Get your standard white marshmallows because these don't taste as good when the fishing's slow. All the Sportsman's Warehouses have a great selection of night crawlers and minnows and the baits that you're going to need. But if you happen to be in Provo, come see Kashoni. He's known as the Worm Master, the Worm Whisperer. He'll get you set up on the finest little box of worms you need for your next fishing trip. Matthew over here, yep. and Matthew's going to go on boat number one with Alvin Jensen. Okay. So go down there and find boat number one he's already on. Yeah, man! Are we going fishing? Yeah. George, you've been involved with casts for a long time. You did a lot of the organizing, get a lot of the uh, anglers that fish bass and fish a lot of the other types of tournaments to bring their boats out. Tell me why you're tell me why you're doing this. Well, it's it's a great cause. You know, it's an opportunity to take um, disabled kids fishing. Um, a lot of times they don't get the opportunity other than this particular event. What is it? It's you put fish stuff in there. The worms like hooks are and stuff. in there too. There's worms. Oh yay. <laughs> These are this is not your lunch box, okay? I know, yeah. Where's the worms? They're plastic worms. There's real ones underneath. Oh, there's real ones underneath. Yeah. What? You know what? You better come up with names for them now. Ew. Because I don't know if they're going to be around much longer. Yeah, wait, so I think this is our 15th year of doing the cast event, and it's been a great, wonderful event. It's kind of a fun, fun time to be out on the water, and the goal is just to help these kids catch a fish. And if they don't want to fish, you know, when I did it a few years ago, we drove around and burned 50 gallon of gas out of the bass boat, just letting someone drive the whole time. Yes, and a lot of times what they want to do is they go for a boat ride because they don't get that experience either. Um, so fishing is kind of a bonus. Some of them are really into fishing. You'll see a couple of them that are diehard fishermen, but uh, you know, some of them just want to go for a boat ride and it's a chance to get out and have some fun too. 